Right, ladies and gentlemen, we're talking to Mr. Daryl Lomax, one of the commissioners of the Next Level Football Alliance. Mr. Lomax, how you doing on this hot and humid day? Great, blessed, grateful to be out here on this uh, beautiful Saturday for some semi-pro football championship weekend, no doubt. I got a couple questions for you, if you don't mind. Uh, this journey, 2024 season of the Next Level Football Alliance, how has it been to you personally? As a commissioner, great. I'm gonna say great because you see a lot of things that happen behind the scenes that you don't normally see as a coach and a player and the owner on the other side of stuff. So from the experience part of it and stuff, continuing uh, with football, I think this was a very important time for me dealing with uh, being a commissioner in the NLFA. I appreciate definitely Miss Jen letting me come along and uh, be a part of it. Okay. Uh what are you looking forward to next season? Oh, we're looking for bigger and better things, man. I'm looking for I'm looking for this league to to to, to get nationwide notoriety. Because I think it's it's, it's very capable. I think Miss Jen is running it to um, the, the standards that any other league yes, is sir. ran up on. Yes, so I'm looking for big, bigger and greater things. More teams, bigger championships. Uh, just, just, I, I'm just looking for a whole lot more partnerships connected to the league and stuff. So, you know, I'm just looking for bigger things. In okay. Anything you want to tell the world about how semi-pro uh, organized community developmental football impacts a community? Man, it impacts the community in a lot of different ways because you have, when you start looking at from the youth up, uh, even though it's an adult league, these children are out here looking up to these young men uh, as um, role models because sometimes they don't get a chance to go to high school games or, or pro football or college games and stuff, so this is the next best thing right here and stuff. So I really think it's very important in the community because the young men is playing, it helps keep them out of the streets for two or three hours of, uh, a day for practice or two or three hours on Saturday and stuff like that. So. It's very impactful to the community because the majority of it, I hate to say it, the majority of the, 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 in the league is African American. And when you start looking at what we go through in our community, that's the reason why it's more important to have it in place here in Jackson. Mr. Not just Jackson, all five states that we operate in, Mississippi, Louisiana, Arkansas, Tennessee, which one? <laughs> Thank you hey, for hey, I'm still the champ. I'm still the champ to somebody else's crown. Thank you for your time, sir. Let me get to you guys. Yes, sir. <laughs>
All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're talking to Mr. Demarius Casey of the North Mississippi Road Warriors who just pulled up to Jackson, Mississippi at the Mississippi School for the Deaf and Blind. Sir, how you doing today? I'm doing all right. I'm doing all right. Listen, ladies, could you please give me a recap on this past season? Give me your, your thoughts on this. How has your journey been to make it to the Super Bowl? We just played 60 minutes. Uh, we didn't, we didn't give up. We got a lot of dedicated guys. We've been going hard since like last October, so everything's fine, kind of working in our favor, starting to pan out. Uh, from the dedication, the, the late nights, having the kids with us, it's all starting to pay off. Um, what would you like to tell other communities around the nation about, okay, the unity that y'all have, how y'all bonded together and made it this far undefeated? And I know it has built uh, closer, what's that word for it? Camarader? Camarader? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. What would you like to what would you like to tell the other communities around the nation? What do they need to do? Uh, I just say fellowship. Like this uh this program that we have, we got uh we don't see color. We, I mean we got people from all different sides in Memphis, uh, but we came together, we doing what we like to do. Uh this is a great fellowship and then a way for me to release stress on Saturday nights with my team, you know, I got somebody who got my back and I'm still get up and go to work the next morning. So this is like this is like one of the best things that could have happened to me. I'm young, I'm twenty eight, but like I said, this is one of the best things that could have happened to me. Mr. Case, I thank you for your time today, sir, and good luck on this uh, NLFA season. Thank you very much. School for the Deaf and Blind. And right now, I'm talking to Mr. Mario Akers, one of the commissioners of the Next Level Football Alliance. Mr. Akers, how you doing today, sir? I'm doing great. How you doing, sir? I'm doing pretty good. Uh, Matter of fact, you a few, few questions. Give me your recap on this 2024 season, sir. How has it been? I, I think it, it, it's been a decent season. We had some hurdles, we had some mountains, some low here to turn the mountains. But overall, it was a decent season. We uh, learned a lot. We learned what to improve going into next year. And I think 2025 is going to be great based off what we learned in 2024. Okay. Um, can, can you describe some of your uphills and downhills? Uh, player discipline, uh, structure. Uh, organizations, uh, we got to get more owners on this level to be serious about what they're doing. Uh, we we, we want to alleviate the pull up and play team in 2025. We want you to be serious about an organization running it and it being successful because that's what will drive the league and make it grow to have successful organizations. Uh, so they're probably our biggest thing. We got to get everybody on the same page owners, staff, players. Okay. Um, what would you like to tell the world about how? Developmental, amateur, uh, semi-pro football helps a community, sir. Great. It helps a community greatly. The first thing it does is it gives guys something to do to occupy their, their idle time. A lot of these guys work, and when they're not working, they like to do things. Uh, and this is a great, uh, I would say, uh, I, I most people will say hobby, but I don't. It's a passion if you're out here doing it. Uh, so. It, it helps it helps the guys uh, get in environments that are positive, structured, organized, and and gives them something to look forward to in a challenging manner, playing the game, being able to go to a playoff and win a championship, being recognized as one of the better teams in our community at this level. Mr. Akers, I thank you very much for your time, sir. All right, thank you. Okay, enjoy the game. You too. Right, ladies and gentlemen, talk to Coach Narcisse, one of the coaches of the Bayou Lacombe Cardinals. Sir, how you doing today? I'm doing all right, man. It's uh, nice and hot. It's, it's a beautiful day out here at the Mississippi School for the Deaf. It's going to be an exciting game. Uh, and that's what I want to ask you a couple of questions about, if you don't mind. Yes, sir. How was your journey as you looking back today and now that you were here at the Super Bowl of the NLFA, the championship, and you made it this far? Tell me a little bit about your journey. I'll tell you what, man. I, I'll start this thing eight years ago when we started the program to do something good for these guys. Um, I explained to everybody that this is a community outreach organization that happens to play football. And so I told them if they can take care of their stuff as men, the football will take care of itself. So this is a long culmination of the foundation that was built eight years ago to now. The program has grown. The guys have grown. And it's now time to show that what we can do. Okay. And uh, for the community, I know this helps a lot of young men out. Yes, sir. Uh, some that really been to college, trying to get into college, and some actually trying to make it to the next level in the pros. Uh, what's your – go ahead. Go ahead. I'm sorry. As you know, most uh, most teams like us are going to charge maybe 500 bucks to play and call it a team fee and things like that. We don't. We charge 10 hours community service. So we tell them go out and make their community better, we'll make them better. And so we give them free access 
to North Shore Technical Community College. We give them uh, leadership advice, spiritual advice, financial advice, mortgage assistance, whatever we can to transition these guys to life after football. And of course, if they have the ability to play, we put them at the next level as well. Okay, well, that is deep what you just said. Yes, sir. Um, last question, what would you like to tell the world? The Bayer Lacombe Cardinals are here and we're here to make good in the world. Uh, football is a side note, but it's a pretty important side note, and hopefully today we do what we can do and get a win. Once again, Coach, thank you for coming, and congratulations on your journey and making it to the Super Bowl. Thank the you. The Next Level Football Alliance. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. Gentlemen, how y'all doing today? Oh, how you doing? Doing, great. Great. doing pretty good. It's just kind of humid and hot a little bit. Oh, yeah, a little warm. Yes, yes, but yes, by yes. the way, my name is Joe, owner of the Mid State Bison, and you got Minister Henderson coming here from Hattiesburg, Mississippi, House of the Lord, also coach of the uh, Miss State Bisons. Okay. Let me ask you a question. How has your journey been this 2024 season in the Next Level Football Alliance? Oh, man, it's been somewhat no less than spectacular, even though, you know, we didn't finish how we wanted, but we learned along the way to where, you know, I don't have no problem. I mean, you know, we had to call it quits early just to get a hold of things, but we're just looking to come back stronger. and We just love how it just in blossom, you know, through our whole tenure here. And it's looking better and better as it goes. Yes, sir. and I, I, I see a bunch of guys in uniform, and that made me feel good. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I got confused at first. Wait a minute now. Hold up. But then I, then I definitely asked you the question, I, and, and you explained it to me. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. Uh, how's your journey been, sir? My journey's been quite well. You know, I've been in, in uh, semi-pro here for quite some time. Now it's been more like 15, 16 years, you know, in, in the uh, semi-pro league. But, you know, it's been great. The NLFA has been real great to us in this year. Uh, we're looking forward to great things to come. We're looking forward to a great game on your on tonight and, and just seeing seeing what God has in store for these players and who's going to come out on top. Okay, uh, on this journey with the uh, uh, semi-pro football, uh, developmental, uh, whatever you want to call it, uh, yes. community, what would you like to tell each one of you gentlemen, what would you like to tell the world about semi-pro football and how it helps our community? Semi-pro football helps our community in, uh, in numerous of ways. It, it allows uh, kids who was unfortunately get offers to uh, now be seen by by D1 D1 people, uh, arena league uh, uh, commissioners, coaches, and recruiters. Uh, we've had many uh, to go on to play uh, D1 ball, uh, places like Jackson State, uh, places like um, uh, Ole Miss, Mississippi State. We've had a lot of uh, great things come up out of semi-pro that give people second and third chances. As uh, far as uh, what would I like to see uh, moving forward, it's the same thing. It's being consistent in what we do getting kids off the street, making sure that we put them in a situation where they don't they don't have to worry about, you know, saying that there's no way out. Yes it is because we, we allow that way and we, we're trying to pay that 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 uh, street for them. Yes indeed, yes indeed. Like I said it all starts at the top. What I mean by the top and not about the league, it's about the owners of the teams. Exactly. That's like we have a foundation, me state bicycle development organization where we target you know, the community, the youth, as you can see here, we have um, a youth team we're involved with called the um, Mississippi Thundercats. Correct. Where, you know, they'll be playing at this, you know, great facility right here with us, and they'll be also performing at halftime, so, you know, look out for that one. But okay. yeah, it's just all about, you know, picking them up where they fall the most, and that's at your ankle. That's the key. Okay. I thank you, gentlemen, for your time. Thank y'all very much, and enjoy the game. All right. Most of you. Most of Right now, we're talking to Mr. Rollo Bickham yes, and Mr. Uh, Lorenzo Austin. Yes, sir. I said that right? Yes, sir. How y'all gentlemen doing today? We're doing uh, wonderful. Great. Uh, and Mr. Uh, Mr. Bickham, you're the uh, owner of the Magnolia State Knights. Yes, sir. Tell me how your journey has been this 2024 season in the Next Level Football Alliance with the Knights. Well, it's been rough and rugged. Uh, we came in beginning of the season. We came in high. We was undefeated going in in the other half of the season. I guess the show and film thing worked out for everybody because uh, the second half of the season came up tough for us, you know what I'm saying? But uh, I'm, I'm loving being here. I uh, wouldn't want to be nowhere else. How has your organization helped uh, the community? Because a lot of our young men come from you know, our communities. And how, had, how has your organization helped uh, the community? Well, we work deep with the community. We also work with Scoop Rock. Uh, we helped do canned good drives. Uh, what else we did last year? We went to the uh, the old folks' home. 
and uh, we handed out gifts. This was around Christmas time uh, to the old folks. So we try to find different things that we could do. Uh, and uh, even when helping with the living teams, like we try to uh, find teams we can sponsor. Uh, I normally buy sleeves and things for them. But yeah, like I said, we, we try to find different things we can get into to uh, work out different uh, plans for our charity and things. Okay, so how, how has it been for you? Oh, everything been good. You know what I'm saying? Go out to see when they had our ups and downs. You know what I'm saying? We found a way to get ourselves together, but it was a little too late. I feel you know? like, uh, and, and trust me, you you won by yourself. Most definitely. What, what would you like to tell the world as, uh, as far as helping their community? What do they need? What do the world need to do to get involved in their community and help it the way you're doing with the Magnolia State Knights? They need to get up and get out there. That's Most the definitely. problem. Nobody don't want to get out and help the community. Everybody feel like they want to be for themselves. And I hate to say it, it's more of our people. Like, they, I feel like it's a lot of hate in the world instead of people helping each other out. Like, one thing people know about the Knights, even when it's dealing with semi-pro, we try to help people. Like, if you ain't got uniforms, I got a lot of uniforms. I let people use my uniforms. Uh, at this point, we're using my field. I try to let you use my field, even give you kind of contacts to the referees type stuff. If you don't know how to get your LLC, you know, you can call me. I try to help you. But that, that's the problem. Like, enough people not getting up and doing things. Like, So uh, what you say, okay, you, you a team owner, but you're not all about yourself and your team. You're about the community. I let my player answer that question. Most definitely. Most definitely. Most definitely. Most definitely. He helps out in any way he can, man. Like, one trainer for none in the world, bro. Even the players. They call me when they're down and doing bad. I I try to find a way to make it happen for them. Thank y'all very, very much. I got one more question. Uh, how has the Next Level Football Alliance been to you this season? It's been great. It's been wonderful. Uh, this season, I'm going to say, it woke us up. Oh, it's definitely. It woke us up. So 2025, they better be ready. They better look out. Oh, yeah. Because oh, they woke us up. We know what they expect now. Now, I, I see you got an LSU jersey on. Are you a Who That Nation fan? Most definitely. Who you a Saint fan? LSU Pelicans. Everything in Louisiana. Well, Who That, sir? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Thank y'all, gentlemen, for y'all time. Thank y'all. Right. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're talking to the head coach of the North Mississippi Road yeah. Warriors, Coach Roach. How you doing today, sir? Doing great. Uh, first of all, I want to welcome you and thank you for, for earning your way to the Next Level Football Alliance Super Bowl, the championship game 2024. Uh, how, has this, how has that journey been to you? Uh, it's been pretty amazing for me. Uh, this is my first year as a head coach. I was offensive coordinator for two years. Uh, maybe the head coach this year finally got guys to buy into the offense that I wanted them to play, and our scores started going up incrementally every game. And uh, we've been doing better and better. We played my version of bully ball, and that means we we hit hard, we hit we go fast, um, and uh, for me it's been a great learning experience. Uh, I, I owe it all to the guys, really. The guys do they do the work. I just steer the ship. Okay. Uh, what would you like to tell the world uh, when it comes down to semi-pro, uh, amateur, or developmental football? What would you like to tell the world about how this impacts? the community, how, how, how this helps a community? This, is, this has been an amazing experience for me. Um, I did this, started as, you know, did this on a volunteer basis, and um, I've seen my guys go out in their communities now, and they've, they're starting football, baseball, track, basketball leagues in their communities, and it's all because of the influence of some of the older players on this team that had already done so. And I got, now I got more guys, I got five or six, there are five, probably five or six leagues out there that are just being run by my guys. It's, it's been amazing for the kids. It gets, gives kids something to do. Uh, it started a chain reaction. Getting the summer leagues. Yes, exactly. That's it. It starts a chain reaction. And it's growing like cuts of vines. It is. It is. But, sir, uh, good luck on today's game. Oh, one more thing. You guys, y'all went undefeated the whole season. Yes, sir. How has, explain to me how that, how, how that was. It's made it more difficult for me. Uh, if these guys had, Lost the game earlier, they'd be a little, a little more humble than they are. They, uh, but they expect to win, and so we foster that expectation. We expect to win, um, but we also know that everybody has a job, and everybody gives a hundred percent on every single play, and that's how we win. Okay. Oh, uh, 
Last question. How has how has the NLFA been to you, sir? Absolutely fabulous. The, uh, the, the front office staff has been so supportive. They've been helpful. Uh, they've uh, come and congratulated my guys on playing the season the way they played the season. We had a bad reputation when we came into this league. We changed that, and we're getting kudos for doing that, and I think that will help in the future. Yes, sir. Well, Coach Roach, uh, once again, congratulations on making it this far, and good luck on today's game. Good day. All right. All right, ladies and gentlemen, still right here. Ain't going to be here for a while. Mississippi School for the Deaf and Blind talking to Coach Shane Campbell of the Bayou Lacombe Cardinal. Mr. Car Mr. Uh, Campbell, how you doing today? We're doing wonderful. We're blessed to be here today. How has your journey been in the Next Level Football Alliance competing in this 2024 season? Man, we, 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 have, we have appreciated the opportunity to compete in this league. It's been way more organized than some of the leagues we've had experience with previously. We're very grateful that Miss Jen and everybody else in this league takes good care of their teams. Uh, I got a, another question since you just said that. You know, the league has been moved to invitation only. Yes, sir. If the invitation comes to you. Oh, we, we definitely coming back if we invite it. Okay, that, that, you answered the question. I mean, uh, Coach Campbell, what you got in your hand right there? Man, I painted this. I took a picture of this. One of our coaches took a picture of this on the front sideline after our first practice. So I drew it up and painted this eight years ago. And tonight I had everybody on the staff and all the team members sign it. And when we win tonight, because we're going to win tonight, it says underneath there, it says 2024 NLC champions. But I ain't okay. let them know that okay, yet. Okay, 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 okay. Coach Campbell, thank you for your time, sir, and good luck on today's thank championship you, sir. Super good Bowl luck. game. Y'all have a good evening. She determined we will all think with the kingdom massive and officially call us her kings. In turn, we will all know the queen is the strongest piece of the chessboard. Please welcome NFLFA league owner, Miss Jennifer Bell. Appreciation of Miss Jennifer Bell, Bell signed by, by Mayor, Honorable Mayor Chuck Way of Tullamooba, where the city Jackson makes a point to celebrate the good work and productive lives of those individuals in our community who have made the world a much better place for where they stood and lived. Miss Jen started her journey in pro development football in 2019. Whereas she made the great strides within the community and deemed the best of Jackson in 2019 by the Jackson Free Press. Miss Jen started the Next Level Football Alliance, Adult Pro Development Football League in 2021 to give teams a positive and safe environment to live out their love of football. And whereas under the direct ownership of Miss Jen, the NLFA has grown to 27 teams and now recovers Mississippi, Tennessee, Arkansas, Alabama, Louisiana, and Florida. Now, I, Chuck Clay, Anton Lumumba, Mayor of the City of Jackson, do hereby celebrate the many accomplices of Ms. Jennifer Bayer and her efforts to make the City of Jackson a safer place and a better place to live. I bring you greetings from the 264 men and women of the Jackson Police Department. Welcome to the city of Jackson, and I wish you nothing but power, 
greatness and egos as you fight for your champion today. If anybody would bow your head is Minister Tracy Henderson, praise over the players. All right, guys. Congratulations for making it to the championship game. All right. All right. Shake hands. And that's about as friendly as you're going to get it right there. Come on, let's go. That's about as friendly as you're going to have it right there. Come on, man. All right, guys. Chief Wade going to do the corn toss. All right. I got this corn here. The head is head. All right, I'm talking to you on this end right here. Heads. All right. That's what the head is. His tail. All right. So you are the visitor. What you gonna call? Tails. What you gonna call? Tails. Tails. I call his tail. All right, Chief Wade. Good luck, guys. And it is the head. All right. You want the ball. All right, whatever you want to kick from. Keep the weight right there. All right. All right. All right. Hey, Chief, hey, 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 I'm talking to Chief Joseph Wade of the Jackson Police Department. Mr. Wade, first I want to say, how you doing today, sir? In this I'm heat. doing amazing. It's so wonderful to be out here today with some football here in the city of Jackson. And I want to say thank you 
for doing the coin toss for the Next Level Football Alliance. Yes, it sir. means a, a lot to Miss Jennifer Bailey. I am the uh, general manager, and it means a whole lot to me from the yes. bottom of my heart. Yes. It means a lot to me. It means a lot to the city of Jacksonville to have something this positive going on here in the city of Jackson. The economic impact it has, and just giving people some quality to do, save here in the city of Jackson on Saturday. You have the full support of the citizens of Jackson, the Jackson Police Department, and I'm just excited to be a part of this major event here today. Chief Joseph Wade, thank you very much, sir. Thank, thank you very brother. much. Three hours later. You made it to the big dance. You made it to the championship. You didn't come on short, but you come on short this game. Yeah. Give me your recap on this season in this game. It's a great season. We, you know, we had a great run. Uh, we started off 5-0, and, you know, we had a couple little bumps in the road, but we did good. And, uh, you know, we came here, we won the conference, and played a heck of a game today. Hats off to the road warriors. Very physical, very big. They run the ball down the road. They make you play discipline. They, they, they're a great team, and they, they proved they were the better team tonight. Thank you very much. Hey, if you want to freak it down. Hey, everybody take a look. Hey, Mitchie, hold on, Mitchie. Take a look. Hey, Mitchie. I want to say thank you. I want to be a hand for the board. I know you don't believe in it. But we show you your mind. Yeah! 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 The first thing I need to do is ring up. 
Be wise. 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 You came into the league. Uh, told me what you were gonna do. You proved yourself. You proved tonight. And I'm proud of you. has just won the 2024 Next Level Football Alliance Championship, the Super Bowl. Coach Roach, give me your feelings on tonight's game. I am overwhelmed by the way my team performed in the second half. They did exactly what I said they were going to do. They did exactly the way I planned it. We wore them down, we wore them down, and then we ran them to death. And that just left some open passes for us. And my, my guys just do all the work. Like I said, I before the game, I steer the ship. They're the ones to do the work. Yes, yes, yes. Let me tell you, for a first year head coach, you know, for an undefeated season, you're in glory. I am really, really in. I, I, like I said, it's, it's kind of it's incredible. It's just amazing. I owe these guys a lot. They did. They gave everything. They gave everything they had. Thank you very much, Coach. And congratulations. I appreciate it. Thank you very much. All right, ladies and gentlemen. Still here at the Next Level Football Alliance Championship game. We're talking to Mr. Wayne Newsom. The game, Super Bowl, in LFA MVP. Mr. Newsom, tell me, give me your recap on this game. Uh, we came in, my first and second quarter, first and second half. It was a dog fight, man. We ended the end uh, second half with 0 0, man. We came back out, kept our head down, and, man, and put on the game, man. And this way, and this is the outcome. So, you know, don't give up, man. How, uh, uh, how has the long season been y'all being undefeated? I ain't gonna lie, man. It's been a dog fight each and every game, man. We, we either won by three and won by six, but hey, it's a dog fight. I, I congratulate to everybody who play football, keep their head on straight, man. My Jack, my trust the process. Trust the process. Last question, Mr. Sir. What would you like to tell all communities across the nation and uh, the youth in the communities? What would you tell them right now? How does it, how does it, what it feel like? Because I never had this feeling in my life. What it feel like? Man, I ain't gonna lie to you. I've been in high school. I ain't never won a ring in high school. But I won three since I've been playing semi pro, man. It ain't never over with. Hey, it ain't never over with. Trust the process. It ain't never over with, man. Keep going. Keep pushing. Thank you very much, sir. All right. Yes, sir. Appreciate it, bro. Yeah, good. Congratulations. Now, Gainwell may be deep in the NFL offseason, but in the NLFA season, it was the championship game. Now, I'm talking about the Next Level Alliance Developmental Adult Football League, where the undefeated Mississippi Road Warriors took on the Bayou Lacombe Cardinals at Mississippi School for the Deaf in Jackson tonight. Now, it wasn't actually foggy like this, just more humid than the bikini bottom, and my lens didn't like it. But one thing we do like, sweet interceptions to Sean Lee for the Cardinals says, give me that. He saves a touchdown, keeps the score knotted at zero. North Mississippi wasn't having it, though. The big man, Christopher Jones, getting through for the sack. We head into half tight 0-0. Zero, zero. 
In the second, the Road Warriors with an 8-0 lead, and this time the long ball will work out for North Mississippi. DeAndre Rudd from Buford to Robert Fields. And in the fourth quarter, it's the dagger. Kalen McNuckle, what a last name, takes it all the way back for the McTouchdown. And the Mississippi Road Warriors are your NLFA champions, 20 to nothing. Now, all right, that's all I have for sports. I'm going to go.